Now let's see how we can uh, create and insert new tables. I'm going to um, create a new okay a new slide new slide there it is and then again um what is it um let's say winter autumn or fall or whatever um okay so i want i need a table to present some data so insert table and it asks me how many columns how many rows let's say five five so if at any moment I choose I change my mind I can add or delete tables and I'm um, sorry rows and columns so you can see that the table is selected the focus is on the table you can see from the the thing here the the line around the table you can just go click elsewhere if I click on the table I've got this um this toolbar it's a contextual uh, toolbar. It depends, its absence or presence depends on the focus uh, in the slide. So I can just say, okay, let's say one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna make it more visible, a bit more. Okay, so if I want, I can just add um, a row. I can just click on two and then um, insert row is going to insert it just afterwards after the the online or the current uh, row in which the cursor is positioned same thing as here I've got two insert column and it goes between two and three again I can um, delete a column and I can delete a row if I want, I can um, merge two rows, two cells or more. So I can just select like that, like that. The two, sorry, I'm going to zoom. I can just select by dragging uh, my mouse to the two cells and then merge cells. And you've got only one cell. Or I can split them. I can split them into two horizontally or vertically I want them vertically so this is what happens you can see that the two do not go to the second because it doesn't know where to go so the first cell is going to keep um, um, all the content there you go and so I just split um, a cell into two which was the original uh, configuration but I can only I can even split something that wasn't merged in the first place so I have my cursor here and I just go split and I can split it as I want horizontally into three so I have something like that I can do it vertically of course the same thing and then I can align the content um, vertically so on the top center or bottom so if I say center you can see two that goes um, in the center and then I can play around with the um, fill color so here it's blue I can just change it to yellow I'm going to change it back to, to show you something up Somewhere. The problem with um, formatting a table is that uh, there are some actions that you cannot you cannot undo. You have to undo them by hand and not with the Control Z or with this button. So this is how you can uh, change the filling color. So color uh, gradient, blah blah blah, gradient, and do something like that. So I hope I can undo this one there you go and this is how you change the line style and you've got the line color so if I want I can just choose the whole table 
and say, okay, I want it line cell. I want it double and then I want to be red and the border I want it to be just uh, top and bottom something like that so I did it you cannot really see so this is the red thing and this is border I'm gonna do like that so I can change it uh, like that by hand and of course doing it by hand is not that interesting so you'd better do it um, automatically so what I can do is I can um, use uh, table designs so if I go here to the task pane called table design I can choose so first you have to select the table then do something like that Okay, so in order to merge, I have to find something that is easy for you to see. Okay, so we've got something like that. And as you can see, you've got, there's a pattern. So you've got um, the, the line two and four, they are, um, so the, the even, um, numbered rows are they have a certain color it's orange red or something and you've got the odd numbered rows that are light this thing except for line one why is that it's because we've got here header row that means we want to apply a different color to the header row that means the first row of the table because it means something so if I unclick it, like that, if I click it, it means that to the reader, um, the reader understands that the first row is not about data like the rest of it, it's just the header. I can do the same thing, so there's a special meaning um, about the first row. I can do the total row, it's actually the last line, so if I do it like that, it's going to apply a certain color, the color is uh, determined by the table design of course and it means that the first and the last rows um, the last row are um, sp have a specific meaning and the rest of it is just data and the rest of it is just um, two colors alternating and of course I can do the first column and the last column um, so it's up to me to um, to choose what I like so banded rows it means that uh, the, there are two colors alternating or I can just have one color so the last thing you should know uh, about tables is that if you go right click on the table and choose table or you can just go here and table properties you can uh, modify the font typeface size uh, all at once instead of doing by hand like selecting here and going bold blah 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 plus I don't even have to select my table I can just click somewhere and go table properties which is uh, it needs less uh, precision um, and then font effects you know this from open office writer is the same thing blah 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 border and here we can have border like that and color red so this is the line um around the the whole table and you've got uh, spacing to content so it's the space between the margins of the cells and the content the text content just go like that in background so i can have a color or a gradient or um a bitmap like that or whatever i need so this time yeah sorry that was dumb of of my on my behalf so apparently i had to oops had to get the whole table to do that which is not very i don't find it very intelligent because this is i just chose 
table properties so it should be about the whole table and not about the cell so there are some things that I personally I don't find um, very intuitive so borders bitmap like that and now you've got what you want let's imagine it's that is what you wanted so this is all you need to learn about tables